This is my Yamaha, 25 horsepower, 1992 outboard. I had no water coming out of the telltale. So the first thing that I did was I took a drill bit and I stuck it inside of the hole of the telltale. There was nothing that could have been clogging it, so I took off the holes over on the other end and I just blew through it to make sure that there is nothing stuck in the holes or over on this end. To further tell, I decided I was going to take off the thermostat housing. So take off these bolts. The housing itself. And then the thermostat. And then I took a hose. I stuck it inside of here, took some duct tape and wrapped it around just to direct the water away from any found and the water was coming uh, through the hose. So I figured that most likely it would be the, the water pump that is damaged. It's not necessarily if water is not coming out of the telltale that uh, there is no water circulating inside of the engine because the bulk of the water or most of the water does not go through the telltale. If you are going to do this, just bear in mind that you could end up damaging the gasket when you take off the housing. So it might be a good idea to have a spare gasket around. This one looks good so I'm just going to put it back in there. I'm going to be checking the function of this thermostat. This one, um, this one belongs to an outboard um, Yamaha 1992 25 horsepower. Right now the thermostat is closed. On this side you probably can't see it but it says 50 degrees Celsius. Uh, for this particular one it opens at 50 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna stick it in hot water and see if it opens or not. I'm using a candy thermometer and I'm gonna wait. Gonna wait for a. I can already see that the thermostat has opened. I'm gonna wait and see what the needle says. So it's reading at 50 degrees Celsius and if we remove the thermostat take a look at it you can see that it has now opened it has a, an expanding material inside of it when it heats up it expands and pushes the and pushes this out letting water flow inside of your outboard or whatever uh, it is being used for today we're gonna show you how to remove the lower units on this 25 horsepower Yamaha 1992 the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that it is in the reverse uh, the the reason for that I'm gonna show you in a second there are two nuts here we knew we need uh, to undo one of them we're gonna hold this one here and undo this in order to separate these two pieces of the linkage there are also um, There are four bolts, one, two, and the two on the other side. On this outboard, it uses a 13, uh, 12 millimeter. I've already undone, undone this a little bit.
Before we go ahead and remove the rest of the bolts, we're gonna remove the, uh, the nuts over here so we can undo the linkage. You need to remove this as well, just pop it out of place. I'm using two tens. Just unwind it. Okay. It looks like they've separated. You can wiggle this. I can keep undoing it, but I know that it is separated just by feel. I'm gonna undo the rest of the bolts on this side. I'm gonna make sure to hold it while removing the last remaining bolt. And there you have it. I'm just gonna change the impeller on this. And that's um, In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to check um, the water pump on the lower unit of an outboard. And I'm also gonna be showing you how to replace the impeller on uh, 1992. Yamaha 25 horsepower uh, But first I want to show you what uh, a working water pump looks like. I'm using the lower unit of a Suzuki 8 horsepower I am using a, uh, a 12 point socket 716 uh, I've managed to get it into the splines. It seems to fit well and I'm using my impact gun I couldn't find the the right size drill to fit the to fit this shaft. So make sure the water is almost all the way up, close to the water pump. And then I'll, I'll press it. And we have water coming out of it. I'm gonna show you one that is bad now. So I'm gonna need to open up four bolts. I'm gonna knock it loose with a size 10 wrench. And then I can just pop this up. There are two alignment pins here, so I don't have to worry about putting it uh, which way it goes when I put it back. The impeller is quite torn up. The rubber is all messed up. And uh, it left some of it on the housing over here. So I'm gonna need uh, to get a kit for this 
and uh, replace it and hopefully uh, I can get uh, water flowing again. So basically here we have a damaged water pump. I'm gonna remove the impeller and basically what we did with a hacksaw we cut the back plate of the pump off and we're gonna push the uh, the water uh, pump housing out and we're gonna show you the problem that happened with the uh, with our water pump basically what happened is the water pump housing has a tab on the back and and if you take a look at the back plate all of this plastic has been scratched off basically what happened is this how uh, this water pump housing had turned like 360 degrees on the uh, on the back of the plastic water pump housing and it basically tore away at the plastic and what ended up happening is this hole over here basically got clogged with plastic to the point the uh, the engine could ne could not pump any uh, water out and also if you take a look at the impe impeller it has been completely shooed off so this basically so, uh, this basically points out the water impeller issue on this motor this is the leg of my 1992 Yamaha 25 horsepower outboard and we're gonna be doing a water pump on it first thing that I want to show you is some of the parts that I got for it a new impeller housing and this is the plastic housing this goes inside of here it has a tab that fits inside of the tab inside here I have a bushing and I have an o-ring you may only need the impeller for yours but mine are pretty short so I needed to get the whole kit first thing that you want to do is take your plate stick it inside there are two alignment tabs so match them together and then take your key stick it inside the key slot you could use some grease to keep it in place and then take your impeller you want to make sure the side with the opening is facing down in order to be able to push it inside And then take your cap and then just stick it inside. It also has two holes in it, so it gives a, so you can align it with the tabs. Make sure you put the o-ring first. Okay, there we go. Turn the shaft clockwise and push the cap down all the way into place. I'm gonna take my bushing and 
and stick it into place. There's a hole here that it fits into. There are four bolts. Mine takes a size 10. I'm gonna tighten diagonally. Just make sure that they're all tight. And that concludes the installation. So now we are getting ready to install the leg. First thing that you want to do is take a dab of grease and put it on the, uh, the spline so it doesn't seize up in there. Then take your leg Make sure it aligns, aligns in here. You might have to turn the prop also when you're pull, pushing it up in order to align the splines with the engine. I'm just gonna get it started in there before I tighten the leg bolts. So just, just a few turns. To get it started. This is the shifter bolt. You want to tighten it all the way down for me. This takes a 12.
I'm gonna do the other side. I'm gonna tighten them diagonally. Okay, finally, just tighten this back into place until it hits against this nut here, and then install this back into place. After you're done that, you'll be done. Thank you for watching the video. Have a good day. Another thing. Uh, you guys might find helpful is that on the on the same motor the shifter linkage basically the shifter linkage plastic piece uh, broke so the, sh the shifter linkage uh, plastic piece basically has like this steel rod that basically threads in and uh, what happens with these plastic uh, shifter uh, Linkages they basically break off when you try to shift the motor So if that ever happens to you, you can take a pair of pliers You can wedge it against the motor and you can shift the gears like that So it's just for uh, informational purposes You can also shift it from uh, frontward to neutral by uh, clamping a pair of pliers and basically pushing it in.